Good morning, it's Dr. Nancy, and I'm super excited to be here to share with you how I make my TLS friendly pancakes. So, you know, the TLS friendly pancakes are something that you can have with any of the menu plans, and it's just great because there's so few ingredients. So I'm not exactly Julia Child, but I'm gonna walk you through this. I'm making a double batch today, so that means I'm gonna be using four eggs, I'm gonna be using two bananas, and I'm gonna be using a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. And then the only other thing I need is just a little bit of coconut oil spray, just to be able to spray my griddle to be able to actually make the pancakes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm a big fan of the Vitamix, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my four eggs in there. Okay, and the best thing about this is that each person's gonna end up with eight pancakes when we're done. So we're gonna go ahead and I just go ahead and cut the banana in four or five pieces as I'm putting it here in the Vitamix. And here's my second banana. Get this done for you guys so you can see exactly how it works. So what's great about these is that they, they look like real pancakes, they taste like real pancakes. Almost forgot the baking powder, so I wanna go ahead and make sure I get that. Honestly, the exact amount that you use is not super important. What I found is, you know, it depends on how kind of poofy you want them. If you don't add any, then these are gonna turn out to be more like crepes. And so I find that, you know, most people are more used to a traditional pancake texture. Hang on now. All right, so from start to finish, this whole thing takes just a matter of minutes, which I love. And you know, I could do late night television ads for Vitamix because I think their product is amazing, but you can make it in a regular blender or you can also make it in your food processor. So I'm gonna make about, I would say three inch diameter pancakes. And you're gonna find that you can make eight of those and that is one serving. So we're having two eggs in this and then we're also having just one banana. So it's completely legit for any of the menu plans. This is, these pancakes can be served during detox. And it's one of the things I love for my clients to be aware of because I want them to know, hey, look, I can have something that's sort of familiar, but a healthier version of it. Because that's really what TLS is all about, is finding new favorites that are healthier. So you can have this during detox. You can have it with the fat shredder, with rapid results, with sure and steady. Really any of the menu plans, it's gonna be suitable. Now, sometimes people ask me, what are we gonna serve with these pancakes? And so, you know, I like to have these in the morning or even for dinner. You know, why not have breakfast for dinner, right? Um, and you can top them with some strawberries. If you wanted to make a syrup, we're not really having syrup today, uh, but if you wanted to do that, some people might use a little bit of agave. I like to just use a quarter cup of strawberries actually just in the food processor, blend them up, and that's gonna provide enough natural sweetness. Another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and top them with almond butter. So sometimes what I'll do is layer that in between the pancakes just to have a healthy, healthier nut butter and then to add an extra bit of protein. So um, the, the pancakes are kid tested and approved, which I think is super important because we know that a lot of families, you know, their, their vision of uh, pancakes is like a trip out for breakfast to a diner or IHOP or something. These are, you know, absolutely delicious. They're not real banana strong flavor. Um, so I think that's good. You can see that when I flip them, um, they, you know, they behave just like regular pancakes. They brown up like regular pancakes. And you know, we fooled a few people with them. I don't make that my goal, but when we, whenever we have house guests and we serve these, I'm always surprised by how much they enjoy the pancakes and, and almost everybody asks for the recipe. So you know, it's nice to have something that's a healthier option for people. When we go camping, we're always fixing these because um, it's just easy. And we don't need any extra stuff. I'm celiac, so I can't be having uh, you know, flour or grains. So I love that it's just two eggs and a banana, so familiar to us and so healthy. So this will be done in just a couple of minutes. Um, I love the fact that we can serve this alongside a salad, um, maybe topped with a couple of eggs. We can also serve these with some turkey bacon or some Canadian bacon. So you know, really just whatever you want, and they're very versatile. You could make them like a crepe um, if you don't add the baking powder. They're very thin, 
And so then you could just do like some roll ups. You could roll up stuff inside of them, some organic turkey, um, or you could even have like uh, vegetables inside of them, or uh, you could roll them up with some fruit inside. You could cut up banana and strawberry and do it, make it almost like a dessert. So they're really versatile. There's a lot you can do with them. Whoops. So they're done, they're done now. I'm gonna go ahead and just stack them. Usually just stack them four at a time. And I just wanna remind you guys that all eight of these is one serving of pancakes. Whoops. <laughs> And we're going to just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and plate those up. You can see that they look amazing. Everybody's always very happy when we serve these. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Again, quick summary. For one serving, it's two eggs, one banana, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of the baking powder. I'm always making double batches for Kevin and I. So that's why you saw it with four eggs, two bananas, and a quarter teaspoon. All right. I hope you try them. Let me know if you like them. Thanks.